Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to explain joint cost allocation, the physical quantity or the physical unit method. Here, I'm going to take an example where a joint process has taken place and at the split of point, that is that point where the different products from that particular single joint process, they are separated, they become separately identifiable. So, at this point, we have two products, product A and product B. Now, they have been produced out of a single process for which a joint cost of 42,000 has been allocated. Now, to, uh, students, I'm not going to explain what is joint cost, what is split of point, etc. Anyone wants to know about it, please do let me know. I'll explain about it. Here, I'm exactly telling you what is the physical unit or the quantity method of joint cost allocation. So here the joint cost is 42,000 and the two products that have been produced are product A and product B. 2,000 gallons, uh, product B, 3,000 gallons. Now, uh, here I'm just giving you a scenario and this scenario I'm going to use to explain all the methods that we're going to use for joint cost allocation. Here, this scenario shows a further processing cost of $4 per gallon on this product. Here it is 3 per gallon and after we have done further processing, we have fixed the final selling price as 17 here and 20 here. Now students, please pay attention to this. Under the physical quantity method, we are just seeing the physical quantity of goods or products that have been produced at the split of point. So here product A is 2000, here 3000. So we are going to allocate this joint cost of 42,000 among them on the ratio of the uh, their quantity. So let us see with an example how to do it. This is the 42,000 cost. Here we have product A 2000 gallons and B 3000 gallons. Let's take the ratio of their quantities. So joint cost to be allocated to product A, that will be equal to how much is product A produced? 2,000 gallons. So 2,000 divided by the total of these two. That is how we find out the proportion, relative proportion. So 2,000 plus 3,000 will give you 5,000 into what is the joint cost that has to be allocated among these two products? 42,000. So you get $16,800 for product A. Now what about product B? It will be 3,000 divided by total of 3,000 plus 2,000, 5,000 into 42,000. That is 25,200. If you see the total of these two, 25,200 plus 16,800 will give you 42,000. So this is a very simple way which is used to um, allocate joint cost among the products which have been produced. Advantage of using the physical unit or the quantity method? It's very easy to use and the cost allocation is objective. Objective means impartial. You're not seeing what value of uh, goods have been produced at this bit of point. You're just equally, you know, uh, depending upon the quantity of the goods that is produced, you are just allocating the cost. Disadvantages of physical quantity method. The first one is it is not allowed for external reporting purposes and it this method, it does not match costs with the product's revenue generating capacity because you're just seeing how much of quantity of each product is produced. You're not seeing what is the value of the goods or the products that are, you know, separated at that split of point. If they may be high value goods or they may be very low value goods, but you are going to give them the allocation just depending upon the quantity. So suppose very low value goods are produced in high number. What will happen? More cost will be allocated to them. So they are given more importance. So that is a disadvantage of physical unit or the physical quantity method. So I hope this is clear to all of you. In case of any doubts or in case you want me to explain any terms, please do let me know. See you in my next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.